believed that. I don't know if Trump is involved with the Illuminati. I don't know if he's part of the conspiracy. I do know that there's some Illuminati cards that resemble Alex Jones of InfoWars and Trump. And it does kind of uh, concern American citizens. It does kind of raise red flags because they're known for doing these giant Broadway plays. And if they're going to be in control of the truther movement, if they have been compromised, or if they're even worse than that, a complete part of the conspiracy, then you and me, as a truther, are completely screwed. Now, October of 2000, 16, my friend Lisa, you see that, my friend Lisa, died of a heart attack, this is how she looked when she died, you see that, she was a organ donor, as soon as she fell and died in her bathroom, Within one hour, they had her on the table ripping her apart and mailing off her organs to different hospitals that were waiting to receive them. And you know they have heart attack weapons that are patent. The CIA has heart attack weapons that they have patent. Now this is where it gets interesting. Her brothers noticed that her so-called friends on Facebook were making comments like, oh Lisa, enjoy your vacation next week. A week later she was dead. After she died, they were laughing and cackling like a bunch of low-life laughing hyenas that hatched from a reptilian hybrid shell. Now what I don't hear, and the reason I bring this up is I don't hear Trump talking about gang stalking. I have never seen the FBI confront it, acknowledge it, warn the American people about it. I've never seen them talk about implants that people are getting when they go to their local dentist and doctor's office. So you have American citizens that are going to the doctors and are coming back home with implants in them that they never asked for. You have doctors and dentists around the USA in every state planning these high-tech alien gray implants in patients. And recently I put a video up where they found strange robotic fibers inside of McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. What the hell is going on? Well, we've been invaded by alien greys is what's going on. Alien greys, UFOs, fallen angels, they're three in one, like the Trinity. And they've invaded us, and they're just closing up shop tightening up the chains and getting the platform ready to welcome the Antichrist who will shortly reveal himself to you and me and the entire world. Do you honestly think, I mean I don't remember hearing about gang stalking in the 80's, did you? Did you ever see the local news in your area report about gang stalking? And if they had, it had, had it been more than once in 10 years? Did they ever report about implants, alien gray implants that patients are getting at the doctor's office, at the dentist office? <laughs> gang stalking is organized crime brought to you by the taxpayer's money 
that go into these black op programs that we never signed off on, being ran by black shadow governments here in the states that were never elected to power by we the people, that are carrying out these crimes against humanity on we the American people. The military, and the military is good for the most part, these are the lowest crumbs on the earth, organized with the police department. They trespass, they're known for illegally breaking and entering. They use high-tech weapons to shoot, to shoot microwaves and harmonics into people's homes to give them kidney failure, heart attacks, cancers, and in certain cases they actually murder innocent American citizens with the help of drones, car explosives, poisons, and harmonic weapons. Do you really believe the FBI is going to do anything about this when the people that are doing this are actually running the FBI, the CIA, Homeland Security, the military? My suggestion to everybody out there is to get your heart right with God, Jesus. Get as many guns as you can and keep all your spare time on the true media, which is people like me and various other organizations on YouTube. Get your mind ready for an attack. Get your heart ready for God. Stay vigilant. Spread the message. Spread the news. Let everyone know what this criminal government has been doing and what they plan on doing in the near, near future, which is roll out this secret police program on all Americans. They want to crash the system, make our money go digital, put up checkpoints everywhere, have death work camps, and turn America into one giant concentration camp. And bad people like this are able to do the crimes they do and get away with them when good people do nothing about it. Most of all, we know that they're actually reptilian hybrids. Reptilian hybrids are the children of the fallen angels. They're part human, part fallen angel, demonic, angelic, and they have no love for you or me. They are here to kill, kill, kill. They're running all the governments of the world, including America. And I really don't know if Trump is good or bad. He started off really good, really strong, and all this stuff with Mueller trying to prosecute him and all this to me it seems like a Broadway play. Like they're just trying to buy more time. Instead of allowing him to go after the people involved in Pizzagate, you know, the, all these uh, top leaders like Obama and Hillary Clinton and Podesta, who have these really strange emails that according to the own FBI, our own FBI, it's a secret language for pedophiles which is actually not just raping these little small children, but actually doing human sacrifice to build the bub. Now, if that doesn't alarm you, if that doesn't piss you off, then you got no soul. Well, there's only... There's only one thing left to say to you. 11 years. That's the maximum. I've been praying about this. The Holy Spirit's confirmed to me that they have 11 years at the most. At the most. So don't make plans for 2035, 2045, because you're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. You're not going to be here. 
no one's going to be here. The earth will be destroyed by 2029. Christ is going to return. This planet's going to catch on fire. And the only thing left is going to be a dark, clumpy void with Lucifer and the fallen angels running around the earth like a bunch of wild animals for 1,000 years. While we Christians go to heaven, we do our studies, we learn about the new earth, and God's going to create a new earth, return in a thousand years with us, and cast the devil and the fallen angels into the lake of fire once and for all. Until then, stay strong with the Lord. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.